Hi everybody, I am Paolo from www.c4d.cz and this tutorial will teach you two different ways to distribute instances or an object on a surface. Uh, you will see, this is the first hero of the lesson. Take it with a grain of salt. It's a joke of course, but it's a very nice example because we will see how to distribute all the pins on the Taylor board effectively. It's a very fun and easy to use technique. Uh, the method needs Cinema 4D Mograph module and Cinema 4D R16 feature called Polypen as well. It's a very important part of the approach. The second described method is totally different and it uses another pretty all Cinema 4D feature, it's called Lighting Tool and it doesn't need more. So it's for everybody. Okay, let's start. Uh, here is the pin object and here is the board. Select the cloned object, it's the pin in this particular scene, and check its cru uh, critical size, its width, and the object is 1cm wide. And let's continue. So, select the MoGraph menu and create a new MoGraph cloner object. Select the object we made, go to Attributes Manager Settings and change Chosen Mode here. Use Object More instead of the Linear. And the Object More offers an Object Link field here. Ok, create a new empty polygon object here, set the cloner and drag and drop and place the polygon object into the object link field we showed before. Place the copied object and place it as a child of the cloner. Set the clone and change its distribution mode, use polygon center option here. Activate snapping, it's very important, activate the polygon snap option only, turn off all other options. Uh, the polygon snap means a surface snapping. So again, activate the snapping and activate the polygon snap. Turn off all others. Use the polygon mode. Set the empty polygon object and use right mouse button and choose polygon pen tool. Set the polygon brush radius value according to the copied object width we checked before. So let's say 0 0.7 should be perfect. OK, and we can start painting. It works perfect, perfectly as we can see, but I have to align or rotate the generated instances I made. Set the cloner and I can turn off the align clone option here. That's all. Or we can use a more advanced approach as well. So set the object again, use the transform tab and we can rotate the generated instances here as well. Select the polygon object and we can hide the object. And let's continue, the object is still selected. The tool is activated as well, so let's paint more instances here. It's really a very very nice feature and technology. And it's very fast as well. Ok, I would like to achieve a more random look of all the instances I made. So I'll select the cloner and add a new effector. Use a MoGraph menu effectors and use a random effector for instance and select it and I will set the Y to 0 and set the X to 0 0.3 and Z to 0 0.3 as well and we can play with its rotation settings as well and so on. It's really up to you. I will adjust the seed value. Okay, as you can see, this pin position isn't perfect, so I have to adjust it a bit. But it's not, it's nothing serious. Show the polygon object, assert the polygon that the particular pin uses, and move it. That's all. The step is still activated. Turn off the cloner itself for the moment, and move the selected polygon. That's all. Perfect. It's an awesome effect. Uh, it's really enough about uh, this technology, so let's continue to the second one I want to show you. And okay, let's create a new scene, we will continue here. Okay, and create a very elementary object here, a sphere. I have to light the sphere I made. Uh, so I need a light, however I will use an uncommon way to generate it. Use the tools menu and select the lighting tool from the list. The lighting tool offers several modes, you can find them here. Diffuse placement 
and specular placement are the most powerful modes, all of them. Uh, choose the diffuse placement mode. Click on a surface. Well, um, we can say this is the point that will be fully lit by generated light. So click to the sphere surface. It can be here, for instance. Press the shift key and you can move the light in surface normal direction. The shift key activates a surface normal direction movement. Okay. The Alt key aligns the jointed light source itself. Its Z axis aims to the cursor position. And the Control key controls light source intensity. Done. Perfect. The tool is still selected and go back to the Attributes Manager settings. The tool offers a very special mode. Here it is. It's Modify Lights Only Trigger. We can turn off the option and use the tool for an any object of your scene. It would be a very helpful, especially if are you building a global illumination setup with illumination plates and so on. But we can use it while modeling as well. Okay, let's create a new object here and scale it down. And I have to adjust uh, its Z size. Don't forget the lighting tool always aligns an object in Z direction. It's a weak point of the setup. If an object has a different orientation, you have to adjust its hierarchy and use a null object that will fix its alignment. Okay. Nevertheless, it's still very nice. Okay. Select the cube we made and use the lighting tool like before and turn off the modify lights only option here and click on the sphere surface. Press the Alt key and it will align the cube and press the Shift key and release the Alt and move the object in a surface normal direction. It's parallel to the object Z axis at the moment. Move it up or down and it's aligned correctly. Done. It works really well. Once more, Alt key aligns an adjusted object, Shift key moves it. That's all. The second task is done. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more, just follow me at www.c4d.cz or follow my YouTube and Rhythmo channels. If you need some help, prepare a special solution, tutorial or make a lesson, don't hesitate any longer and contact me directly. You can find all contacts on the webpage. Many thanks again and see you soon.